Bruce Willis has been seen in public on a rare outing since his dementia diagnosis was revealed. The Hollywood icon was seen in the passenger seat of a vehicle in California Bruce Willis, the Hollywood star, has been seen in public on a rare occasion as he continues to grapple with his dementia diagnosis. The 69-year-old actor was spotted riding shotgun in a vehicle driven by an assistant in Sherman Oaks, California, donning a dark zip jumper with a red top underneath. Meanwhile, his wife Emma Hemming Willis has been reflecting on their love story and how they first crossed paths. Emma, who married the die-hard icon in 2009, took to social media to share the heartwarming tale of their first meeting. In her Instagram stories, Emma shared a snippet from her Make Time podcast where she was chatting with fitness expert Gunnar Peterson. She revealed that it was through Gunnar that she met Bruce for the first time, sharing this fun fact with her followers. The couple initially met in 2007 and Emma confessed that she was taken aback by how charming and funny Bruce was. In a joint interview with People in 2020, Emma recalled, that was my first thought of you, to which Bruce responded, I was already in love with her. The couple are parents to two children, Mabel born in 2012 and Evelyn in 2014. Bruce also has three older children from his previous marriage to Demi Moore, Rumor, Tallulah and Scout. Rumor recently posted a nostalgic video of her father singing. In the footage, the actor is seen performing live with The Temptations, belting out their hit song under the boardwalk. The audience was clearly enjoying it as they sang along during the 1987 Top of the Pops performance. This heartwarming video was shared following insights into Bruce's life with dementia by his friend and creator of the popular 1980s comedy series Moonlighting, Glenn Gordon Karen. My sense is the first one to three minutes he knows who I am he's not totally verbal. Glenn revealed to the New York Post. Bruce received a diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia in February 2023, after initially being diagnosed with aphasia. His family has remained supportive throughout his diagnosis and frequently shares updates on their social media.